What's up YouTube? Once again, it's Hot Rod Todd. I got a new video showing you some new members of my collection. Uh, I've got some additions to my cases up on the wall and uh, found some really vintage, vintage pieces. So as the weekends come along, each week that goes by, I'd have to say that my vintage, my collection is becoming more vintage now. Uh, that's where my joy lies, most mostly for this uh, uh, hobby. Uh, love the vintage stuff. I love getting the new stuff, you know, in the stores and all that stuff. It has to be the you know, the red line set and the the real rotter heritage, and you know, maybe some of the pop culture. But uh, the reason why I really got into this hobby is to recapture a lot of the cars that I used to have as a kid and you know when I do get these you know online or at the flea market it just brings so much joy to me uh, I could just sit and look at these cars for hours and I remember what I did when I had some of these cars and God only knows where they are now uh, they didn't make it, but somehow these have made it. So let's get started and and showing you some of these these real stars of the the show here. Uh, I mean, gosh, let's just get started with. These are my heart. These are close to my heart. So anybody recognize this one? Yeah, this 57 Chevy, Hong Kong, black wall, I mean, it's a plastic bottom, so what? There we go. Yep, got it upside down again, I had it right the first time. But it's a 57 Chevy, I had this car as a kid, it's got the blue tinted windows. The yellow tampos. Let's see if you can get a real good idea of how good in good shape this is. It's not mint, but uh, it's near mint. It's in really excellent condition. Yeah, I know that these are in the cards are going for you know quite a bit of money, even sometimes loose. Uh, I know that there's a black version of this one too, and I'm I'm trying to hunt it down. But I found this one. Had to have it. I used to have it. Now I got it again. And I cherish this one. Growing up as a kid, the 57 Chevy was my favorite car of all time. And I kind of have to stay, say it still is. Uh, in real life, if I had one of these... That'd be complete. What do you think about this one, guys? I love it. So this one goes up in the case, the vintage section. Uh, next, I'm sure you all recognize this one. And I had this one as a kid, too. The Stage Fright. Look how good shape this one is. Yeah, used to have this one. Look at the, and it's not mint, but daggum, it, it's near mint. The only things I can see, which I'm okay with, just a couple of chips. It has. It doesn't look like. It doesn't look. Does not look like it's been played with. This is close to my heart. This is this is a grail, grail piece that I cherish forever. So, yeah, this will go back up here. So, in front of me is my my vintage, and I got more more vintage over here mixed with some earlier ones, which are cool. Next is the. This version of the T-Totor. And I've got 
I already showed you the brown one that I had that was in the pack and I took it out of the pack. But I found this one with the yellow plastic base. And it's not in mint condition, but it displays very well. This is close to my heart, too. She's got a little chip on the corner there. But, so what? I mean, mint is going to be more expensive in the card. I wanted some loose ones. And I'm, I'm okay with this. What do y'all think? What do you think? Yeah. One of my most favorite models. Teetotaler. And I got the black one coming in too, so. Getting that pretty squared away. put it in the spot where it was okay next let's get this uh fluorescent pink t-bird yeah black wall i mean this is a flea market find the corners are a little nicked up that's okay. The roof right here is a little nicked up. But other than that, I love this version. This variation of the T-Bird. And this one brings me a lot of joy. I'm going to show you the white one. The white variation with the blue and, and red tempos on the, the top. And it's in, in the card. In the blister but this one is a very good display car the t-bird tempos are strong just a little bit of wear on the top back ones look good a little tarnishing on the base but hey it's old vintage that's what it's all about that one goes back up there next is the 76 formula 5000 Another flea market find. And this one is near mint. Excellent base. Never been played with. Just a few little corners. The front nose is a little... But other than that... Fine car. There's a good picture of it. Yeah. May have paid 50 cents for this. This is what the guy, the, the deal the guy gave me today. Whew. That goes back up there. Vintage. And y'all probably recognize this XJS Jaguar, the blue version. You can still see the cat. And as you can see, there's some nicks on it. Flea market find. You got the headlight still working. Still color. Little nicks right there. I can live with that. Look at the back. Excellent car. That goes back up to the vintage area. Wrapping up, these are the Kenner fast ones. This is the Fun E. Now this is mint condition. I don't care what anybody says. You can still see the license plate. Mississippi baby. Mississippi born and raised. I found a Mississippi tag. Hail State. Uh, but look at the tampos on this car. I used to have some of these fast ones. I'm not sure if I had this one. I may have. I just can't remember. But look at this. This is mint. 
What do you think? What does this go for now? 50 cents. 50 cents. Then another fast one. The Turbo Bird. Georgia Plates. Some of you Georgia fans may appreciate that. And this one's not mint, but it is in excellent condition. The front is a little chipped up. That's all. And it's old. These are 81. 1980, 81. I've seen these online. Now I got one. I'm proud to have it. The base is in it. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I mean, it's just it's in excellent condition. Got that. And I got the Z Wiz. Let's turn the attention over to the wall. There's the Z Wiz in the case, and the card, and the blister, and the new, another, another variation of the T Bird, right there. Then I've got more over here. <clears throat> I'm gonna shake up uh, you can see the blue I mean the green Aston Martin I got at the uh, auto parts store flea market fine turbo Porsche uh, red line Camaro this ultra hot 300z with the doors open that's a very nice one I got a f40 the f40 with the f40 tempo it's a couple of Camaros and this beast all flea market finds and I got these over here. And the tw 25th anniversaries, red line, I mean, real riders, and then some red lines right there. Got the Baja Bug, that was a flea market find. And I got more coming. There's a good picture of the Z Wiz. So. Thank you for your time and let me share the new members of the family of Hot Rod Todd's collection. This is probably going to be one of my better videos. I hope it is. Um, I'm getting more confident by the day. Each video that passes by, uh, I mean, you can see the joy and the, and the passion that I have for this hobby. Please leave any comments that you wish below. Please subscribe to my account. It's Hot Rod Todd. Until the next video, guys, happy hunting. Diecast forever.